This just into the newsroom now, a protester heckling President Biden out in Nantucket, where he just spent the holiday weekend. Take a listen. Let's go ahead and bring in Leo Terrell now, a civil rights attorney, Fox News contributor. Leo, it seems everywhere the president goes these days, with, whether he's home at the White House or on vacation, he is being heckled by anti-Israeli protesters. And, and that's allowed within the Democratic Party. Uh, over the weekend, Jillian, you saw what happened at the New York Library, where uh, Palestinian protesters basically defaced the New York City Library and is tolerated. How many people got arrested? Including One. an American and flag. Not Right. And notwithstanding this, it's tolerated and it's happening in these democratic cities. Washington, D.C., you might recall the defacing of some of the walls near the White, near the White House at the Democratic National Headquarters, at the California, Geo, California Democratic uh, Convention in California. This is what's happening. The Democrats are basically in, in a quandary, Jillian, because there is a pro-Israeli side, but there is a pro-Palestinian side that basically dominates and allows the First Amendment to be used for criminal activity. It's a little early to ask these questions, Leo, but we're in the 2024 election cycle now. How do you think the events of today, the release of the first tranche of hostages, no Americans, plays? I'll tell you right now, it shows that Joe Biden has a policy of appeasement. Look, I, I think Israel was Israel is doing a very effective job. And let's be very clear, it is great to get the hostages back. But Israel needs to destroy Hamas. And the Democratic Party has a problem because Joe Biden is going to get hurt in Michigan because there is a lot of Palestinians there who want him to basically stop Israel from pursuing Hamas. And that is the ongoing problem. The other problem is this. Again, I applaud the release of the hostages, but you can expect, Jillian, you can expect, Jillian, that there's going to be a PR campaign to stop Israel from pursuing their military goals. There will, absolutely. Um, Leo, I know that you were standing by with us in light of all the breaking news out of Israel this hour. Thank you for your time. Thanks for sticking with us till the end. We appreciate it as always. Thank you. My pleasure. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.